So I've been taking a vacation for a few days and I'll be taking it for a while more and I'm using it to uh, decompress and just kind of cope. It's been stressful, but uh, also working on my project. So I haven't had much time for videos. I dumped some videos out there on Zimmerman because it's the kind of thing of while I'm working, I'm watching the trial. And uh, it's kind of like there's a timeliness to it. It's not something they go, oh, I'll write that down, and a year later makes for a good video. So, um, so it's like now or never. So I'm just, I, I, I'll just say some of the things I've been thinking. Okay, so first of all, I said I was terrible at predicting these things, um, and uh, partly that's me, and partly that's just the way the system's supposed to work. I mean, they've got a jury of six people that don't that aren't like me. They don't follow stuff like this. Even if I wasn't following this case as closely as I did, because I don't think I have ever. I, I mean, even the OJ case, which I, I watched, I, I did not follow. You know, this case, I read the statements, witness statements as they were available and this kind of thing. Um, anyway, the big injustice issue to me was not even having a trial. That's ridiculous. Just to say, oh, well, that's a no-brainer dead on an armed kid in a public space. No brainer. Guy says him, kid attacked him. And yeah, there's an element of, of racism. Why, if you don't know anything except for it was a black unarmed kid at seven at night and an armed guy pursuing him, how you could go, probably the kid's fault, if, you know, if the killer says so. That's not usually how we do kill. We're used to killers lying, right, aren't we? I mean, even honest people will lie in a situation like that, find themselves in a situation accidentally or in having made a mistake or on purpose or whatever you're going to... So... So we had the trial. I mean, that there's an injustice, you know. O.J. walked free, too. And, you know, this is... Our system is supposed to make it harder to convict somebody than it is to get off. Unfortunately, the innocent people that go in into jail, which is supposed to be prevented by this reasonable doubt system. Yeah, they have a lot of beef that have to do with cognitive science and how people form their reasons and doubts. In this case, I would say that um, I think manslaughter was clearly there and there was an argument for murder too. And I think that argument, had it been made, uh, would have resulted in manslaughter. But it doesn't matter, he's not guilty. You know, I don't believe he should be, I don't believe they should try to try him on the civil rights stuff. Not if he got not guilty. That jury said it was self-defense. Now, I don't agree that it really was, but I do agree I live in a society that now is supposed to behave according to that official answer. Right? An individual doesn't have to say, oh, he's innocent, my mistake, I'll make him my best friend now. Someone could still say, I think that was an injustice. But our system lets him go, and he can still have his gun, and that's it. No punishment. Didn't even lose his gun. Unsafe use of a gun. Nothing. What happens in a situation like this is you judge the laws. The laws and the attitudes that, that allow that. Um, it reminds me of uh, the, this whole issue of being happy that there is an imperfect system rather than no system at all. Um, like in the Florida Supreme Court, I think in the 2000 election, I think they ruled correctly. And the U.S. Supreme Court was wrong to overrule that. But that's the system we have. And they did follow that system. And the people with the discretion to make those decisions made them. And as a result, we didn't have a civil war. If you look at history, that kind of situation often leads to civil war. Often. So... The system's working. You saw these ancient things move into place, laws people hardly even ever think about. <coughs> it was messy. We survived it without having a civil war. And um, so that's the sense in which I think it would be a huge, ridiculous injustice to live in a society that said this, this kind of situation was a no-brainer. A jury, not a bunch of detectives, but a jury should have to decide. And they did. They seem to have decided a soft, want-to-be-helpful guy 
got too close to danger and the danger made him feel threatened. Now this is another thing that I would, um, I would prefer societally. Again, just assume now that they did get the law right. Okay, I think they did it wrong, but there's room in the law for the discretion. It puts it to a jury the way the law is written. The jury, this is the law. It is legal to carry your gun around on neighborhood watch, pursue somebody, get within range of them, and if they strike first, you can kill them. They're not armed. You're armed. So you have an advantage going into that to know, yeah, I might get punched, but then I kill them. They don't know that. They have to be desperate to even punch you and think it's their last chance. You don't have to declare who you are. You don't have to declare the cops are on their way. You don't have to try to defuse the situation in any way. You don't have to show concern for the person once he's immobilized. You can say you thought he was still alive when you holstered your gun. Um, so you judge the law. I mean, I, but that's up to Florida and the U.S. to decide whether or not they want to put up rules like that. You don't get to go back in time and do them. So the system is just in that sense, in that, in that you're left looking bare-assed at the mistakes of it. And then you, you say, well, next time, is there something we can do about this? Is there a different way? You know, maybe we shouldn't let everybody have concealed weapons. Or, yeah, we're going to have concealed weapons, and this is just it. Sometimes there's bad luck with concealed weapons, you know. There's another story. I didn't read uh, the details. My wife was telling me that uh, some guy that shot his 17-year-old son who had put on a gorilla mask and was practical joke scaring him. You know, you're just going to have to say, well, this is the price you pay. It's statistics, you know. And we want those guns, so. And that's fine. I feel there's a little bit of confusion now um, that I can see why um, some civil rights leaders are concerned that, yeah, there was a racial aspect because there's some explaining to why is it so easy to believe somebody that was running decided to ambush and then to ignore the fact that everybody says that started with a quarrel, a speaking quarrel, a speaking quarrel in which George Zimmerman should have said, the cops are on the way, I want you to wait here, I don't recognize you, it's raining, call the police, we'll just let them sort it out. And I think he's obligated to say something like that if he wants to end up killing somebody and say, well, stop the fence. Give that person every chance to know that they better not attack. But anyway, that's over. So, uh, in other news, uh, Derived Energy's posting videos. Cheers.